So this video is all about 3D scatter plot using Plotly Express. For that purpose, these are the two required libraries, Pandas and Plotly.express. I'm running it. And after that, the data set which we're going to use here is data.iris. Uh, this is directly imported from Plotly Express itself. PX is nothing but our Plotly Express here. So this is our data set, uh, Iris data set. Iris data set is all about the flowers and its uh, characteristics. Uh, and uh, its spe species also will be mentioned inside it. Let's see what's uh, inside our data set. So this is our data set, sepal length and sepal width, petal length and petal width and species. That's all. Now we are going to plot some scatter, 3D scatter for this uh, particular data set. So I'm assigning a variable here, figure is equal to uh, px is nothing but our plotly.express. We need to instruct plotly that it is a scatter 3D, 3D scatter plot. So that's why this come for that uh, the command is scatter underscore 3D. That's all. And uh, so within the parenthesis, we are give, we need to give our data set and what should be in the x-axis, what should be in the y-axis, and what should be in the z-axis. Since it is a 3D plot, we should uh, give z-axis also. And color. If you are in need of uh, multiple color means, we can give we can specify color also here. So this is our fig, and uh, we need to show it using this command. I'm just running this. Uh, particular cell okay it's running okay I got this plot this plot is again completely interactive you can rotate it you can see it in multiple angles in all the dimensions in all the all the three dimensions you can see it here okay as we specify three different colors being given here uh, one is blue and red and green and these are all the legends along with the colors mentioned here. Okay, let's go to the next plot. Again, the command is same, px.scatter underscore 3d. Our data set is same, df, x, y, z we are defining here. Color already we have defined. Last time we had defined the color as petal, sorry, species. Here, color we are defining it as a petal length and symbol. So we are, we are going to change the symbol. So for the for that purpose, I'm using symbol is equal to species. Species we are having three different species. Uh, was here you can see one second. Setosa, versicolor, and virginica. Okay, using these three uh, things, symbol will be represented here. Okay, using the fig dot show off, I'm just uh, I'm going to show the plot to you. It's running. Okay, we have got a one three D plot with uh, different symbols yeah again it's the fully uh, interactive and uh, we can explore in all three different dimensions okay multiple colors are present here since uh, we have given the color as petal uh, length uh, multiple colors are present here and after that we are having two different shapes one is square and another one is uh, circle it must be three, I guess, but we are unable to differentiate. Yeah, you can zoom it and you can see in all three different directions, dimensions. Okay, this is all about this video. Thank you, guys.